So let's start with a bit of background on accessibility for those who maybe are a bit less familiar with it. It's, it's important to understand what we're talking about today. First of all, accessibility is a set of principles that allows us, as web, web designers and web developers, to create web content and an application that everyone can use and understand, no matter their situation or, or disabilities. But to really convince you, I guess you need to understand the why, like why should you bother? Why, if you need, or either yourself, or if you're already convinced, but you need to, um, to help to convince your boss or your team to build more inclusive e-commerce solution, you need more arguments and, and better data. So and let's, let's start with that. The main reason on why you might want to do better at accessibility is because it's the law. Second reason why you, you might want to do better at accessibility is because it's best practices. If it's done properly, your e-commerce website will be more compatible with older browsers and future devices. And finally, actually, you can pretty much forget about the four previous points. You should really do better at accessibility because it's the right thing to do. So testing accessibility, there's two types. It's quite straightforward in that it's automated or manual. And both of these are easily accessible to you and your team. So the three of these are not the only options, but they're all a great place to start. And if you're looking to improve an exist existing website, whether you're familiar with accessibility or relatively new, remember that it's, it's a process. Every step counts, whether big or small, and each one will benefit at least one person going forward. And these automated tools are a very inoffensive and easy way to jumpstart your journey. So then, of course, on the other end of the spectrum is manual reporting and um, automated testing can certainly do a lot, but it can't do everything. And manual testing is exactly what it says on the tin, because what better way to test how usable your website is with a screen reader than testing it with a screen reader. Great. So I think some really great points um, that we talked about today in terms of the, the what and the, the, the why around um, building accessible web pages. And I, what I want to talk about now is how can you do this on an e-commerce platform? The more people that are participating in the internet and interacting and able to, to purchase things and view and uh, interact with websites, the better. So according to Nucleus Research, companies without accessible sites are losing 6.9 billion a year to competitors whose sites are accessible. When we looked at some of the earlier slides and we saw that the top 94 percent of, of web pages don't are, are still have some accessibility issues on them when you run an audit that's a huge opportunity to step in and uh, position yourself as a site that is accessible friendly so in conclusion number one the the internet is for everyone i think we do all owe that societal responsibility to build accessible websites the good thing is is that accessible design is beautiful design mm -hmm.